to all those curious and kind, this is a story left behind. There was once a tree with no leaves and flowers. It stayed that way for days and hours. Leave me alone, it said to the moon and sun, not wanting the company of anyone. A goodly tree, they called me. So is there good more than me? A house was built not far away. And a little boy came out to play. He saw a tree, old and lifeless, and wanted to show a little kindness. He watered the tree with such loving care that the tree began to wonder and stare. Why must this boy be so kind? I thought all love left me behind. A goodly tree, they called me, so is this good more than me? The tree then grew a leaf or two, with little branches, fresh and new. Around the tree the boy did mow, and such love and kindness the boy did show. Why? the tree asked. Should the boy do such goodly tasks? A goodly tree, they called me. So is this good more than me? By night, a prayer the boy did say, reaching the stars so far away. The breeze was soft and the wind was calm, sending the tree a cooling balm. He whispered my name, the tree said curiously, as he watched the boy, praying peacefully. A goodly tree, they called me, so is this good more than me? The boy and his dog played in the rain, tossing a frisbee again and again. What a friendly sight to see, said the tree, I wish I had a friend like that with me. A goodly tree, they called me, so is this good more than me? The tree awoke in a bed of flowers, as goodly deeds have goodly powers. Inside the house a cock did break, making the tree shiver and shake. The boy was calm and sorry too, his mother smiled, the smile he knew. A goodly tree, they called me, so is this good more than me. The tree saw a kite fly by, and watch as it floated in the sky. All I hear is him laughing, the tree said, at the sight of the kite, flipping and flapping. A goodly tree, they called me, so is this good more than me? The boy began to sing, and a wondrous tone did his melody bring. The tree said of the child, a happy boy indeed, his voice brings joy to those in need. A goodly tree, they called me, so is this good more than me? This child is creative, the tree said, as it watched the boy paint the leaves on his head. The tree stared and looked for a while, and noticed the painting was missing a smile. It wondered why it had all this sadness, when the boy did nothing but show it kindness. Nightfall came once again, and silent did the tree remain. A smile came through its face, as goodly deeds did a sadness erase. More leaves began to spread, 
and flowers bloom of blue and red. A heartfelt joy did the boy impart as the tree at last found friendship in its lonely, lonely heart. To all those curious and kind, this is a story left behind. Once there was a tree, but now there are two. A young tree, freshly planted, and an old one too. The young tree turned and asked, why smile at me? The old tree replied, with your heart, you will see. A park began to rise, much to the young tree's surprise. It saw how hard people were working, doing their task since early morning. The young tree then turned its head. They work hard, I see. Why would that be? The old tree simply said, with your heart, you will see. Some people went to play, and a little girl came their way. She was the same, but was different. Yet the older tree knew that instant, that this girl was from that boy, the one that brought it so much joy. The young tree turned and asked, did she smile at me? The old tree then replied, With your heart, you will see. To her father, she came down a slide, To his arms, opened wide. She slid so ever happily, For in her joy one could see, The trust was there between her and he. To the old tree, the young tree did turn and ask, Scared can she be? Show no concern, the old tree said, With your heart you will see. The father then sat below, Under the old tree's cooling shadow. Indeed, this tree was his friend, A bond in which there was no end. He smiled as he did so remember the goodly times they shared together. Friendship, the young tree said in a whisper, how could it be? The old tree then replied, with your heart you will see. The young tree smiled as the girl went to play following her heart in her own way. She set herself up on the swing, free as the wind, not minding a thing. A smile her face did so show, a smile the young tree did so know. It was the smile that the old tree shared, a smile in which to show it cared. The young tree began to grin. Could it be? The old tree then raised its chin. With your heart, you now see. The father gave a bucket to his daughter, and there she gave the trees some water. The old tree remembered this deed of kind, how the boy never left a friend behind. The young tree was wet and happy too, as father and child changed all it knew. Could it be, could it be, the young tree came to ask. Yes, the old tree said, your heart 
is now ready for this task. The father, with child in hand, left the slide, the swings descend. A final wave they gave to the trees and blew some kisses through the breeze. The old tree said its goodbyes, but no tears fell from its eyes. It knew a secret about love, that being here, there, or far above, could not break the bonds of heart, even when so far apart. The young tree sat in thought and wonder, and through those deeds it began to ponder. Heart was all it needed from the very start. Now I see, the young tree said lovingly, that joy, that smile, that love I see, was in my heart inside of me. The bonds of friendship and that of trust is one to value very much. Now that smile of yours is mine, the joy in me has come to shine. To be the tree which you are now, the goodly tree I see in me. To all those curious and kind, this is a story left behind. Many years have now passed, and those that were young are old at last. The boy and the tree came to age, arriving now at an elderly stage. He sat as they watched together the world that now had changed forever gone was the house the boy had grown and to the park his daughter had known a city was built around the tree one as far as the eye can see the city lit up the night just like the stars, it gave its light. Beautiful chains can be, said the old man to the old tree. Time has passed, yet do we know the memories we now do so. People sat and stood in wait for a bus that was so late. Patient they are. The old man said to the old tree, as all they showed was a smile and glee. They stand in line and do not know the memories they now do so. A dog came and went to play with a boy that passed its way. At first the boy was afraid to pat the friend he just had made. But as the dog began to stare, it wagged its tail here and there. Trust, the old man said to the old tree, trusting just like you and me. They met just now and do not know the memories they now do so. A cleaner came and swept around every corner of the ground. He found a petal on his brush, a brightly petal with a redly blush. There it danced before his face, swaying the wind with grace. Content is he, the old man said to the old tree, content with what he has and what he sees. 
they go to work and do not know the memories they now do so. A lonely girl sat on the ground whispering and crying sounds. Her cries were heard here and there, drawing to her those that care. She found herself with those she loves, her family who stood above. They show compassion to one another, the old man said to the old tree. They comfort her when she is sad to take away what was bad. They help her now and do not know the memories they now do so. A man rode by with his horse, with humble strides and little force. How noble the horse, the old man said to the old tree. It came to us, to you and me. It brought us joy and much delight, and now I see the time is right. Time has passed for you and I. And time, it seems, went on by. No matter what we do, time goes on for them, for me and you. Now at last, we say goodbye, the final wave to you and I. All that we had shared together shall last from now and then forever. The old man thought back to the days he shared with the tree, the memories he kept preciously. Old tree, old friend, he said in kind, friendship has not left us behind. At first we were having fun, joyfully like everyone, but it is clear, just like the day, that in those moments so far away we came to know what was known that memories were made and memories were sown.